Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has rolled out a brand new dev channel inside a build for this week, build 23481, which they started rolling out on the 14th of June. And there's quite a lot going on for the dev channel insiders um, this week. So at first, having a look at what's new in build 23481, if you would be interested. Now, first of all, there are improvements to and for Windows Inc, says Microsoft. And as we can see from the screenshot provided, Microsoft say that Windows Inc is being modernized to allow you to enable inking directly onto edit fields, as we can see from the screenshot provided. They mention also that they are improving the accuracy from the recognition technology and a scratch out gesture for when um, you need to make edits. And they say the goal with all of this um, with Windows Inc now is to let you use your pen and handwrite anywhere um, where you can type on your Windows device, as we can see from the screenshot provided. So if you do use Windows Inc, I think um, that will be a nice, handy, useful feature if and when it does roll out to the stable version. But one thing to take note of is that um, it only carries support for English US only at this stage with Microsoft saying that broader language support will be rolled out in the future. So just keep that in mind um, if you are in the dev channel. And now we also get a new widget and it's a new focus session widget where um, Microsoft say this is part of a clock app update which is rolling out um, from the Microsoft Store for Windows Insiders in the Canary and Dev channels. Um, Microsoft says that with this uh, new focus session widget, you'll be able to quickly start and stop focus sessions on your device. And I actually think this will be useful um, as a widget if you are uh, using the focus sessions, which you can obviously access directly now from your widget board in the Dev channel. And then once again, uh, there are improvements to the never com the never combined um, taskbar buttons and never combined mode, which um, I think is on its way to the stable channel because this is a highly requested feature. Um, as I have been posting now, Microsoft says never combined mode um, enables you to see each window of your applications on the taskbar individually, as many of you will know. And um, this began rolling out with build 23466 and is now available to all Windows insiders in the dev channel. So obviously this is slowly but surely making its way down to the stable version, which I'm sure a lot of users are going to be happy about. Now with these screenshots out the way, just to go through a couple of uh, the uh, so-called changes and improvements where Microsoft has made some important changes. And the first, um, they've made changes to the folder options in the File Explorer, where Microsoft says they are now removing a handful of old settings under f folder options in the File Explorer as part of, of an effort to clean up the number of settings for File Explorer. And the reason for this, Microsoft says, is that many of these are legacy settings that have been around for ages and are not being regularly used by people on Windows 11. And I actually think this may be a nice move, as I always say, in the right direction, uh, if and when it does roll out to the stable version, just decluttering some of the legacy features, um, which, as they say, a lot of users don't use. Now, um, just to give you a general idea, to get to your File Explorer options, we head to the File Explorer. Obviously, we click on the, uh, the three-dotted menu, and yeah, you get your options. And as you can see, this is a legacy component, and you head to View, and this is where all the different options are currently available, which Microsoft is talking about. So they say the following settings will no longer appear under folder options in File Explorer. I'm just going to mention these quickly just to keep you updated. Hard folder merge conflict, always show icons, never thumbnails, display file icons on thumbnails, display file type information on folder tips, hard protected OS files, show drive letters, show pop-up description for folder and desktop items, show encrypted or compressed NTFS files in color, use sharing wizard. So those are the different folder options in File Explorer that Microsoft is now starting to remove in this latest dev channel inside a build, which I think is a nice move personally. Now, um, something else to take note of um, is that starting with this build, chat, which um, is pinned to the uh, taskbar by default in Windows 11, is now Microsoft Teams free. Now, um, Microsoft Teams Free, there's actually an important change taking place with this. Microsoft Teams Free will be pinned now by default to the taskbar and now can be unpinned like other apps on the taskbar. So what Microsoft is trying to say with this change, which is actually an important change if you are using Teams and chat quite a lot in Windows 11, what they mean with this is that the Teams chat flyout has been removed. So as an example, uh, you won't see this flyout now for Teams chat. 
And that's replaced now with a simple simple pinned icon to the Microsoft Teams app, which will just now be pinned to the um, taskbar like any other app, which means that while Microsoft Teams free uh, is still pre-installed on Windows 11, uh, the system-wide integration on the taskbar will no longer be present. So you can basically um, unpin that from the taskbar, which at the moment, if you want to get rid of chat, you actually have to right-click, head to taskbar settings, and yeah, you see you have to turn off chat as mentioned. So I actually think that's another nice integration for Windows 11, which currently has been tested in the dev channel. And um, I hope that one actually does make its way down to the stable version. Now getting back to the File Explorer, as I have mentioned previously, um, something else Microsoft is working on in the uh, dev channel now is the ability to tear out and merge tabs in File Explorer, which began rolling out um, with build 23471. And this is also now available to all Windows insiders in the dev channel. So just to give us another idea, as I always do uh, with this feature, um, I'll just use the notepad as a very good example just to demonstrate how this all um, will work um, when it does roll out to the stable version because I actually think this will roll out to the stable version. So the ability to tear out and merge tabs is very similar to the notepad. So if you open a tab, you can tear out a tab so it makes its own window and you can actually remerge that back in as you can see. So that's more or less um, what that is all about. The ability to tear out and merge tabs in File Explorer which I think is on its way to the stable version because Microsoft is giving that a lot of attention now in the insider builds. And um, then of course, um, if we head back to the release notes, we get all the different fixes that have rolled out and we get one or two for the dev drive, a whole lot for the file explorer. And um, then we also get search on the taskbar, which has a fix. And then we get the known issues because it is early days in the dev channel. So obviously there are a couple of issues because um, there are brand new features and um, improvements and changes that do make their way into the dev channel. So obviously a lot of known issues which Microsoft will have to address uh, in future updates. So that's more or less um, what's new for this week uh, in the latest Dev Channel build, build 23481. And as mentioned, although, th although these are new features, um, they may ro roll out to the stable version one day, but as Microsoft says, um, may never be shipped at the end of the day. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.